shop. Uh, what did you read on the bus on the way here? I um, I'm in the middle of reading um, three women. <gasps> yeah. I love that yeah. book so much. I was a bit nervous when you asked me to come and do this because my um, reading is. <laughs> It's so bad these days. Well, what do you days. mean by bad? Well, do you mean you don't read as much as you'd like? No, I don't read as much as I like. I don't read the way I used to, you know. Um, I think, like, I, my big excuse is that I read so many scripts. Right. So you so are I'm reading. Like, I'm reading all the time. Of course I never are. stop reading. And I kind of, I think maybe it's like when I went to university and... I ended up, I think that's what killed my reading a little bit because you have to read so much yeah. that it kind of stops being about uh, pleasure and you kind of associate it with something else. So I think... And reading quite boring texts that you don't want to read. All of that, yeah. yeah so when you well. do read books, when do you read them? I read books on holiday. On holiday. That's the only time yeah. I read except at the moment because I'm trying to, you know, write something new because Catastrophe ended yeah. and... That was like, you know, the love of my life in terms of work. Aww, and it was like the love of all our lives. <laughs> and, uh, and I really missed it, but I yeah. thought, you know, obviously it's my job and I need to come up with something else. Yeah. But I have to, I have to love it as much. So That's a uh, very high bar, though. I know. And maybe it won't work out, but then I think the last thing I loved as much as Catastrophe was pulling and there was... Right. five years in between and yeah. you know yeah so what i suppose yeah um but it is like it's like having multiple love affairs it really is yeah it really like is. i want to fall in love again i absolutely want to fall in love oh. again and yeah it's uh it's it's tricky to fall in love again so yeah. so what i've been doing the last while is what everyone tells you that you should do when you write is to uh just like soak things in you know like, like live yeah, a little lot. bit, and yeah. and part of that is sort of, you know, what you what you watch. What time in your life did you read the most? Then do you feel like I read the most when I moved to London, age nineteen, and I was kind of, you know, not sure what I was doing. I mean, I was doing nothing, but <laughs> but I really liked. Yeah, you know, I was surrounded by a lot of kind of hippies and and people who'd sort of dropped out a little bit right but they were all incredibly well read so what kind of stuff did you read then oh i mean that that's when i was that's when i kind of got into the sort of beat writers oh, that whole brilliant. beat generation thing right and and actually a lot of graphic novels and stuff as well i was kind of like really what like what graphic novels well um like a lot of robert crumb okay. and then you know and then sort of more kind of like sort of fucked up superhero stuff like oh, Watchmen cool. and, and that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's when I that's when I started putting together a little library. I was living in this squat in London and I had a bookshelf and for the first time, you know, it was becoming full. A thing. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, yeah, then I, yeah, when I went to, to uni, I kind of was reading all those sort of tomes and, and then stopped reading. Tomes like what? Well, you know, like I was doing... Um, I was doing sort of uh, American studies and yeah. I was doing English and... Uh, but like, what's a book that you really like love and would reread over and over again and kind of clutch to your bosom? Oh, so um, The Sun Also Rises. Oh. I think I read it every year. And there was a period where I was kind of probably reading it twice a year. I read Why? it a lot. What do you love about it? Um, like, I love that modernist style yeah. of just simplicity you know i i mean i i love flowery prose and i mean i can get into it yeah. you know but i feel like you need to really concentrate when sentences are often like a paragraph yeah uh, well it's the sun also rises it's so direct oh, it's so direct and it's and it's it, it just transports you i think it transports right. you to paris and to pamplona and 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 there's a, a love story at the yeah. end of it. what did you read as a kid I was thinking about that on the way over as well. I, I realised that I read a lot of love stories. Okay. Or, or, you know, about relationships. Right. Like, what else? Like, give me an example. Well, um, well, at the moment, I'm also trying to read um, Love in the Age of uh, 
uh, cholera. Oh, bless. Um, because I'm, I'm because I'm trying to find this new thing to write, and yeah. I'm trying to like explore like what love um, really means, you know. And <laughs> Easy. Uh, <Great. laughs> yeah, well, just, all the different versions of love. And, can't you just and, Google it? What yeah, does love well, really mean? I mean, I probably will end up <laughs> doing that, but at the moment, I kind of, I, I it's that I, I guess the idea of, you know, um, love and romance and love and happiness and kind of what it all means you know like what <laughs> what we're striving for yeah and if it's ever possible to find it and do you have to um make a choice um at some point you know um love like that. passionate love versus ha happiness or contentedness or yeah safety and, and yeah. that kind of thing yeah. i mean as a young young kid it was all about ian of Blyton. right huge in the blind lover and we, really? we we also had all the you know the little women and yeah you know what katie did and i guess all the dickens it's an interesting idea that as a kid you read books about girls and love and then mm. that kind of does have a through line mm. as one grows up and gets older and yeah. you know it's obviously different books about love and yeah different aspects of it and yeah the darker side of it as one gets older yeah i, I mean that's the that's the I don't know. I mean, I was going to say that's that's definitely the thing I'm drawn to write about is right. <clears throat> the the darker side of it. I don't know if you'd even call it the darker, but like the reality of it. The more know? grown up side of it. Yeah, maybe is a better yeah. way to put it. Yeah. Well, that's more well, because in some ways, what else is there? Really? Mm. But also, I think like what I've discovered is that people really appreciate, um, you know seeing real life reflected back at them you know i mean everyone loves escapism I, I i love it as well and diving into something that's completely not connected to your life or is aspirational or, yeah i like i appreciate that but but when you when you watch something or read something that really um speaks to you and tells you you're not a freak yeah that you're not for having those thoughts yeah. or being in that situation yeah you know, um, I think I, I'm really grateful for, and like that's been the sort of the nicest sort of um, I don't know uh, um, the 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 nicest response I get from people right. is you know um, that that's my life, and thanks for you know putting that on the screen. I have this sort of um, kind of romantic again idea of what I'm going to be doing as a as an older, older woman. <laughs> right. Uh, and, and I think um, books are kind of part of that. Oh, okay. You know? oh, interesting. I love it. Is this your, like, 20-year plan? I think there has to be something of a, of a 20-year plan or so it gets too scary. Okay, so paint me a picture of you in the 20-year plan as an older, <laughs> older woman writing your book. Where? Are you I, wearing I, a purple dress? I wouldn't. Maybe <laughs> a hat? <clears throat> I think I'd still be like, you know, make myself, tar myself up in the mornings, <laughs> even for writing. Yeah. Um, I'd be living somewhere, not, I think not a city. Okay. Um, but I would, I would make journeys in, into the city. For, okay. You into know, the big smoke. Yeah. For a bit of um, color and life. I don't know. I kind of see myself somewhere like, you know, somewhere in, in Europe, in a, in an old sort of renovated, um, Sanatorium? Oh. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? I I find it funny everyone's image of a writer. So my why are you laughing? Are you am I a massive cliche now? No. So, what? Which bit? Just the sort of living abroad, sort of in a smock. No, it's absolutely somewhere gorgeous. hot. I'm come and join you, we'll have a commune. I need to think of something to do where I just don't hit the gin, like a twelve. Yeah, right. I, that's what I'm I'm sort of worried about. Like when I when I you know when when sort of raising kids and all that kind of thing is is out of the way what stops me right no, <laughs> from you making have, a cocktail yes you have to wait until five o'clock <laughs> to make the cocktail we have standards five o'clock is the is the time